You're watching Shalom TV, celebrating all things Jewish. you into the 404 Club here hosting Larger Than Life, an Israeli organization dedicated to improving the lives of children with cancer. Tonight we have the Young Leadership Committee of Larger Than Life and it's a fabulous party. Join us. Hi, I'm here with Gil Ghibli of Larger Than Life. Gil, tell me something. This looks like a fabulous party and I know you're on the host committee. What, what does it take to pull off a party like this? What are the behind-the-scenes secrets that you can tell us about? I mean, the behind-the-scenes uh, secret are pretty much the, the cause of the organization. The organization they really works uh, diligently on a day-to-day -to, -day to bring a brave kids from Israel to the U.S. for an amazing trips and for entertaining time. So just to see what the, this organization and the people behind the organizations are doing, is so moving and makes you just do so much. Gil Ghibli here doing good for the Jewish community. Thank you so much for joining us, Gil. My friend told me about the event and I think it's an amazing thing to not only help kids who have cancer but Israeli kids who have cancer. And it's my first time hearing about the organization but um, I look forward to helping them in the future and it's really a beautiful event. Bobby, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me here. This is uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. Um, such a great group of uh, people that got together to create a host committee. It's a great time to build that next level, the next generation of people who are going to take over the leadership qualities. Um, and because right now we're in our 20s, 30s, and that's what we're going to need to kind of, you know, keep going forward in, in the next century. It's been a lot of work, but we're so excited to be here tonight and can't believe that we almost reached our 500 person goal of uh, people here, which is so exciting to us because really our main goal is to uh, sponsor the uh, kids with cancer and uh, we, we want to be able to take them on a dream trip to Disney World and that's what our focus has been on was really raising the funds to, to uh, be able to support these children. So tell me, what is, what is the mission of Larger Than Life? Uh, the mission of Larger Than Life is to improve the quality of life of children that are suffering from cancer in Israel. How did you get involved with Larger Than Life yourself? I got involved about eight years ago uh, when I saw a group of children from Israel coming on a Disney trip to uh, Orlando. And that's what I got involved in starting to, with my first event, raising money for this organization. How many children are serviced by Larger Than Life? Well, in Israel in general, we have about 5,000 children that are in the circle uh, of cancer. Um, we today are uh, catering to 1,500 children and unfortunately every year there is 600 new children that come into the circle um, of cancer. Avi, Chairman of the Board of Larger Than Life, thank you so much for joining Shalom TV. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. Netta, this is a beautiful event. Tell us, is this a typical Larger Than Life event? This is our Young Leadership first annual event. We have five chapters in North America and uh, we're very proud on each and every one of them. We're helping a lot of Israeli families that arrive to the United States with sick children, helping them at their hardest point of their lives with whatever they need, food, transportation, just to hug them and let them know that we're here for them. And uh, also, we sponsor all the activities in Israel, like the summer camps, the dream trip to Disney World, helping with medications, equipment to hospitals, 
and once we visit every sick child in oncology department, we felt that there are so many babies and toddlers that we need a book, something to give them the power to win and fight. And I wrote this book, The Magical Cape, based on a true story of a large and alive kid that he discovered he has cancer. And when he put the superhero cape on, he decided that he is not a regular child anymore, but a superhero that can overcome anything. And he really got healthy. And the book and the cape will be given to any sick child here in, ho in the hospitals in the United States and all over Israel. This is Netta Nathaniel with Larger Than Life and a beautiful book called The Magical Cape. Thank you, Netta. Larger Than Life has succeeded in implementing many projects that have been vastly improved the life of children afflicted with cancer. One example of many programs that Larger Than Life has implemented is its annual Disney trip. Every year, Larger Than Life USA brings Israeli children, ages 10 to 18, with different stages of cancer to Disney World. Those kids are given the chance to participate in the dream trip that lasts for two magical weeks in Orlando. Hi, we're here with Amir Shriki, a beloved volunteer here with Larger Than Life. Amir, it's so wonderful to meet you. Thank you very much, likewise. So, Amir, tell us, how did you get involved in Larger Than Life? Well, basically, it was actually a very interesting story. Um, I came to New York approximately six years ago, um, and one of the Shabbat dinners in the Upper East, um, I heard a lecture about giving, giving to community, stepping up and doing something. Some like a uh, general uh, vague uh, lecture about doing and supporting. It didn't hit me until the point that uh, the person who was giving it gave an example about an organization that is struggling with getting volunteers named Larger Than Life. Um, apparently, I connected the dots. There is an organization in Israel called Gdolim Al Chaim, which uh, means the same thing, Larger Than Life, uh, where my father volunteered for the past 10 years. I, as a kid, when I grew up, I used to, I'm, I was used to hearing the name Dolim Al Chaim, meaning larger than life, and people running in and out trying to raise money and funds to, to help those amazing kids, brave kids uh, who were hit by, by this uh, cancer disease. Uh, when, I con when I made the connection, I immediately realized that uh, I, must, I must do something and, uh, and join this organization. Uh, I approached the person, he put me in touch with uh, Neta who is the CEO of Larger Than Life. Uh, that was approximately between four to five years ago. And since then I'm involved, uh, ready to do anything for this amazing cause. For me, this cause is, is so unique because it's involving uh, three things that are very important to a lot of us, myself in particular. Uh, it's involved with Israel. It's involved, on the other hand, with kids. And it, invo it, is, in it is involved with supporting sick people or people who were sick or who have been in difficulties. Israeli kids with cancer, it's a combination that you cannot, you cannot say no, you cannot not open your heart to. It sounds like you have a tremendous amount of dedication to this cause. How many people are you expecting tonight and how much are you guys hoping to raise and what will you do with the money that is raised? Okay, so it's a good question. With any charity we have to be focused on the goals. The charity tonight is not just to support Israeli kids with cancer or to write checks to Larger Than Life, uh, a non-profit organization. It's actually very focused on sponsoring a dream trip to 30 Israeli kids who either recovered from cancer, recovering from cancer, and this dream, dream trip is going to take them straight from Israel to Disney World, uh, obviously with all the medical crew and everything. Uh, the cost, the average cost of such a trip, we've done it in the past, is uh, over $100,000, close to $100,000. We raised so far from, from, thanks to the amazing people here, uh, above sixty, seventy thousand dollars and now we're gonna, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna close the gap and maybe even more and we're gonna bring these kids here. We need to raise tonight a small amount, $25,000. So we're gonna do it by auctioning books. It comes with the cape and everybody that buys a book, this book will be donated to a child in Israel. Please raise your hand. Yes, 10 books. Can you state your name? 100 books? 100 books. Thank you very much. Very nice. I'm so pleased.
pleased to be here with Becky Griffin, television personality and MC for Larger Than Life's beautiful, hot uh, party tonight. Becky, thank you for joining us. Thank you. How are you? Doing great. And so, Becky, tell us, um, your work in Israel, what do, what do you do in Israel? I know you're a famous television personality. A lot of people here tonight have been telling me about you. Yeah, I've been working in television since I've been 19 years old, which is a very long time by now. Uh, everything from sports to music, MTV, and just kind of really lucky and grateful to have been, been able to make a living out of the things that I love doing. And I guess um, hosting this event and contributing is kind of a way to give back to, to the community, to give back to the people of my country, really. We have a very special treat for you tonight. We have a very brave young girl named Ronnie Burbring, who came here. She deserves it. She came here all the way tonight from Israel. And she's going to share a little bit of her remarkable journey with us here tonight. It was my first week of high school, and uh, I got, I was told that I had leukemia. And um, I went from like, wanting to like go tanning to to like living in a hospital and my mom would would bring up this trip that larger than life was um gonna take me on we were going to la soon in a few months and every morning my mom would get me like basically give me hope by reminding me that I'm going soon with them and there's something to look forward to. It's not like a trip that you could take with your family. Like every, all the kids there, they're going through what you're going through and they're not judging you, they're not asking you, why are you bald or why? Why are you like so bloated from steroids or why do you have scars or? It's just like there are no words to describe what like a trip like this, how much hope it brings you. I think some people here don't really realize that larger than life is not just about Disney trips for kids. Right, no definitely. Like cancer is a very like lonely process and larger than life was always there, like whether I'm in the hospital or out of the hospital, like making sure that they're bringing friends to me because like your friends aren't always there for you. And like on my birthday, I was in the hospital, but the second I got home, they were they were like at my door in my room with like birthday cake and like balloons when like your own friends didn't even come. I really like to thank Larger in Life for like being there for me and just making sure that like my just like the quality of life. They're always thinking about me, making sure the next day, how can the next day be better for you? So, Ronnie, thank you so much for sharing your story. You thank really you. are very brave. Very beautiful. And very beautiful, like that man says over there. <laughs> A round of applause for Ronnie. It's really such a beautiful organization. I'm really pleased to be here tonight. I want to tell you that Shalom TV reaches thousands of American Jews across the country as well as a general broad audience. If there's one thing you could say to the American Jewish community about Larger Than Life, what would you say? I believe in the organization. I believe that we cannot treat kids. We're not doctors. But we can give them the mental strength and uh, kids at that stage become socially isolated. Their friends leave them and they need us the most. So there is a lot of stories of children that overcome the treatment, overcome cancer because they being hugged and they looking forward for a trip. They looking forward to our activity and that's what keeps them uh, strong. To get, to get better, to beat it. Phil, if there was one thing that you could share with our audience about Larger Than Life, what would you say to them? I would say pretty much what, what they told me when I, uh, when I heard it for the first time. Uh, step up, make the move, come join us. We need you, 
We need volunteers. We need your help. And uh, if I can give a contact number, where can they can find us on Facebook, Larger Than Life USA, or you can just call us 1-888-644-4444.